Alright, so we want to do some regex here, and we're going to do some more uh, text wrangler regex. Here's the task at hand. We've got this display page, where basically we have this variable u, which is an array, with all the user's information. Okay, And we're making a table here, and it's displaying each piece of information. Well, I've done this once, and I've done this to a lot of fields. There's a lot of fields here. Right? But the problem is, well, now we want to make all of these fields input boxes. And so what it needs to be is this now needs to become this with input type equals text, name equals full name, value equals that. Okay? So we need to do this to every all of these on the page. Okay, It's a lot of work to do. So we can use regex to do that really quickly. And here's why we can use regex. We've got this pattern that is repeated over and over and over again. And all we want to do is replace it with this pattern. Okay, So what the name of the game here is we have to match what's inside of here and then replace this with this while using the what it's found between here and here so it's going to use full name basically so the first thing we have to do is match full name and then we have to replace this whole thing with this new string so let's actually do that so we're going to hit command F to open up our find dialog and we're going to make sure grep is checked here okay so first thing we're going to do is paste in what we're looking for which is right here so we're looking for this okay now we can see it's colored and it's colored because some of these characters, like the question mark and the dollar sign and these square brackets, they're used in regex. And we need this to be a string, not these special characters. So we're going to first and foremost escape all the characters that we don't want to use as regex. And that's going to be the question mark, the dollar sign, and I'm putting a backslash. That's how I'm escaping them. This bracket, that bracket, and that money sign. Or sorry, that question mark. Okay, so now we've just got the string with no regex in it that we're looking for. Okay? So now we have this. Okay? So if we do a quick test, we're going to replace this with the word test. Well, I can spell test. There we go. Test. And if I just hit replace, you can see that over here that replaced that entire string with the word test. So we know that we're matching full name correctly. Okay? But that's not really doing any regex. That's just a find and replace. Now let's actually do some regex. So instead of full name, we need to match all letters all capital and lowercase letters, basically all alpha characters, we need a match between here and here. To do that, we have to do a character class. To do a character class in regex, you put something in square brackets. Now, these square brackets are different color because we don't have anything inside of them. So, to do a character class, you have to do backslash w. Backslash w is equivalent to doing a to z, a to z. Okay? This and backslash w are the same thing. Okay? So we're going to match backslash w, just to make it simple. Backslash w, again, means lowercase a to z and uppercase a to z. So we have matched a character class inside of here, a to z, a to z. However, we've only matched it one time. We have to match it as many occurrences as they come, one or more of this. Okay, So we're going to put a plus sign after the square brackets. So we're going to, basically what this is saying is we're going to match the character class backslash w. So we're going to match all lowercase and uppercase letters one or more times. Okay? Got it? Now we're going to replace that with the word test. And that should replace all of these with the word test. So we'll just hit replace all. And you can see that replaced all those catches 23 times with that word. Okay? So now our match is working for all of them. So now we're kind of there. But what we're missing now is we actually need to remember what this was. Okay. In order to remember something, you put it in parentheses. So again, when we're matching one or more occurrences of all lowercase and uppercase letters, that's the part that we want to remember. So we're going to put that in parentheses. So now we have told regex to remember what we just did. If we, t if we run this right now, nothing extra is going to happen. The exact same thing is going to happen. The only difference is we have stored a reference to, the, to that match that we've created. Okay. And what's that reference? It's called backslash one. Okay? There is the match that this had is one match, backslash one is that match. Okay? Um, so what we need so if we replaced it with backslash one down here, it's gonna replace 
all of the occurrences with just the words that it discovered. So if we do replace all, you can see it's got 23 matches again, and it, now it put full name, username, email, Twitter, location, country. You see what it did there? It took all of those original, see the difference? See what's happening when I, as I do this? Um, it, it's finding this and replacing the whole thing. Okay, That's the key. So again, let me just explain that one more time. We matched the character class. Oops. We matched the character class, all lowercase and uppercase letters, one or more times. And now we're remembering it, which gets remembered as backslash one. Okay? So now to do the final step, which is what we want to replace it with, which uh, was input type equals text, name equals, uh, it was full name, value equals, uh, and the value was actually this again. Remember? It was this, the whole PHP thing. So that's the value, and then close the input. That's what we want to replace it with, but just like before, using that backslash one, we don't want full name, we want backslash one. And we don't want full name, we want backslash one. So now, we've, we, we've matched, whoa, we've matched our guy, and we're going to replace it with our input box, and using backslash one instead of the actual word. And now when we hit replace all, boom. There we go. It's a done deal. Now we've replaced all those with input type equals text, name equals full name, value equals PHP full name. Input type equals text, username, username, text, email, email, and you can see that it worked and it created them all perfectly. So that's how you could quickly use, and if you didn't, if you learn this well enough, you can just straight go, oh, I need to do this now, open this up and just straight away use it and not have to really think about it that much. That's why it becomes really useful. So you can do cool regexes like this to make your programming life a lot easier.